All right. Heading down. Heading down. Get some fish. My Robinson Crusoe raft. About halfway down the creek, heading towards the mouth of the creek where the fishing will be happening. So all these banks covered in mud will be filled with water in about three hours on the incoming tide. And fishing is best when the tide is coming in in this particular creek. Um, some of us fish from vessels and a lot of people fish off the shore fighting this mud. Once the water is deep enough closer to the mouth, I hop in and use my little electric outboard um, that I ratchet strapped to these kayaks and just cruise on down to the mouth of the creek down here where it's a designated fishing area. As you can see, there's bigger boats that come across the knick arm and everybody is congested into one small area to fish. Oh, he caught a fish. Now what? What's the plan? Okay, then. This guy don't mess around. Just had some fresh sushi. This evening I spent two and a half hours fishing with the dip net and I caught 24 salmon. This is also the best time to get back up the creek during the high tide, utilizing the outboard to get up the creek as high as possible. Once the water level drops further up, it's all leg work getting up. Oh yeah, leg day. Woo. That's a workout. When I finally reached the parking lot, I gut the fish right there by the water and clean them up and take them home to fillet them. At home, we fillet and process and pack them away for the freezer with the main boss making sure everything is done properly. When the fish is packaged properly, it can last up to a year in the freezer. Anytime my heart desires some salmon, I thaw it out brine it, dry it, and pop it in the cold smoker here. And after about a day and a half of process and smoking, we get these results, this beautiful caramelized, smoked Alaskan wild caught salmon, a delicious mouthwatering dish. Thanks for watching guys.